All right, well, this is definitely going to be something. I can tell you that much for sure. <clears throat> I'll give people a little bit to come in, but then I'll just jump into it because I can't keep he I can't keep stalling myself forever. <laughs> Probably. Watch me die. Because I assure you, there will be a lot of that going on. Not a bad sign, though. I mean, granted, I'm about to die, but that's fine. Even half getting that uh, bodes decently for the run. <laughs> Would have lost teleport storage there if I had it. better at this part, which is good. <sighs> it might be the easiest of the tricks that I think I'm going to get stuck on, but I suppose we'll see. <laughs> I guess by way of introduction, um... Uh, if you followed me t before during, like, ESA speedrun type streams, I did them in the morning for a little while, haven't been streaming them as much recently, but have still been doing runs. Uh, the category that I run tends to be any percent inbounds, which basically gets to the first ending of the game because that's the fastest one for, that you could get to. Uh, However, there are actually, I think, three other endings in Environmental Station Alpha, and while they're not run as much as the main category, they are, they do still have runs and routes, and the thing is that they are kind of way harder than any percent. Despite the fact that any percent is like a decently challenging speedrun, um... The kind of stuff that I am going to do for any percent today is just going to be, or for a surface percent, surface ending today, is going to be an absolute hoot. Um, so, basically, what's going to happen is uh, the run will look pretty much the same as normal up to the charge shot, except I'm going to have to get some bonus health, and if I forget it, I'm going to have to go back for it because it's important. Um, but once I get the charge shot, uh, we are basically going to veer off from the usual path and end up in having to do some stuff that I don't really think I'm capable of doing yet. So, um, that'll be fun. That'll be great. And I think I have put it off enough, so uh, without further ado, I think I am going to get started. God help me. So you can see down there that the world record is about two minutes slower than any percent was before I got to it. Um... 
getting that time, managing to do that is uh, honestly ridiculous. And like fucking shout outs to Brother Main for managing that because you'll see like how long this ends up taking me. There's several tricks where if I don't get them the first time, I am going to lose several minutes minimum, and I am pretty sure that I am going to fail them several times. So, uh, let's, let's see how this goes. I'm not going to use the metronome that I normally do to get text storage, and if I miss it, screw it, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's not going to be relevant to my time for this. But, uh, let's get started. So yeah, the first 10-ish minutes of this run, uh, 10 to 12 minutes, are going to be very familiar to anyone who's watched uh, me play any percent. Because basically, I'm gonna need a whole bunch of upgrades uh, that are, like, pretty much the any percent set before I can actually start doing the bullshit, as it were. On the plus side, as long as this run finishes, it's a PB. Alright, not my best kill on him, but that's fine. Like I said, every split's a gold split, so it's fine. I'll probably be on pretty much all of my any percent bullshit for this first part of the run. Includes the text storage here, which I do love. Ooh, first try, not too shabby. To get text storage, you have to press read and then press map on the very next frame. So it, it is a frame perfect trick. Um, so it always feels really good to get that first try. Luckily, it's so low, like, loss if you do miss it. Like, you're basically out a second or a second and a half. So it's really not that much of an issue. Most people will just do it like five times in a row until it happens to work for them. Coming up, we have one of my favorite tricks that I probably hit a little over half the time and lose a ton of time when I don't. Nice, I got it. So yeah, being able to bounce up here off the very first fly saves like two or three seconds. It's really, really difficult and technical because you only really have one shot to actually save the time. Um, and if you miss it in the wrong way, you basically fall in the water and lose, like, 15 seconds. It's great. I invented that trick. By the way, preemptive sorry for the fact that there's going to be a constant swooshing noise every time I'm in the water. Might drown me out a bit, but there's not too much water overall. We will be fighting an extra water boss, though. Honestly, I sort of feel like half the difficulty in ESA speedrunning is, like, remembering what upgrades you have at any given time because your movement sort of dramatically increases as the run goes on and you sort of have to remember, okay, I have the double jump but not the V-dash, or I have the V-dash and the double jump but I don't have the hook shot yet, so I can't, you know, throw a hook shot out right here and speed up with that. It's quite a lot to keep mentally and uh, this category makes it worse, so look forward to that. Also, shit, I didn't split. Oops. You to skip a split? Let's say that, yeah. All right, um, and then while that was happening, I missed the trick that I was doing. This is a great start. Fine. 
These aren't the splits that are gonna matter. I also missed the health. Oh, great. It's going amazing. I'll be running back past the health anyway, so it's not the worst thing in the world. God, imagine having to think about things. Terrible. Gross. In the middle of a speed run? Ugh. Oh. Yeah, let's call that a gold split, sure. Okay, I'm gonna need to get two uh, health packs here or on this during the split. Like I said, it is actually vital that you get uh, 25 health in this category for reasons that will become obvious once we go off the beaten path. Next one that leads to the save point. I haven't done this in fucking forever. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So these uh, health packs that I'm getting actually are like the safety health that you get in any percent runs when you're not confident and be able to do it in none health. Um, they're just kind of mandatory here. So like, I'm very used to getting these E-Tanks, but I also haven't done it in quite a long time, so it is not muscle memory, even slightly. It is probably going to be one of the easiest time losses that I have in this run, like, as I do it going forward, just like, going full on any percent muscle memory because I've done hundreds of runs of that at this point. Tried, I thought about hookshotting there, and I was like, nope, nope, we're not there yet. Soon, TM. Okay, so now I have the health that I need. Uh, the rest of the any percent portion of this run will be identical, so I need to first get the grappling hook, then get the teleport key, then get the charge shot. And then we're gonna see some shit. Eventually, we're going to see this room again. Oops. This is fine. Man, these are the parts I'm supposed to be good at. Ooh, that's a really good pattern. Well, if nothing else, I can have a good trash bot. Oh. I feel like there are ways to do this decently faster. Um, but they're like super micro movementy. Yep. It was supposed to be a jump into a skip, not a uh, pause. It's fine. Ooh, I got it. That's a really good way to do this room. That feels nice. My teleport key split has been getting a lot better in any percent lately. There is a buttload of micro that you can do in this split like, speed it up super slightly. And I have slowly been getting better at that. Yeah, stuff like this. This That was a really good way to do this room. Oh, 
Bookshotting is generally faster than walking, but if you're too close to the ceiling, it's actually considerably slower. Um, which means that, like, from the point you get the hook shot on the run, all movement is terrifying. You could basically be losing time at all times. Still need to activate that teleporter. In fact, it's going to be even more important in this run. And now we are going to go into security for the only time in this, uh, category. We do not have to come back here when it's powered up, which, thank god, security is hellish. It's fine. Of course, with 25 health, I am functionally invincible right now because I'm used to doing this run with 15. Experimenting with doing this upcoming room faster. I'm still not very good at it though. That was a really good kill on that guy though. For some reason my timed shots get really fucked up by him. I think it's because when you're taking damage you have like inactionable periods where you can't shoot so it actually messes up your shot rhythm. Okay, one more split that is basically any percent, and then the run really begins. <laughs> that should have been a jump. It's fine, though. I'm honestly so used to micro-optimizations at this point because I've played so much any percent, but like... We, we are going to get into macro optimizations pretty soon. It's going to be very funny. Just how much worse I'm going to look at this game. Here comes more splashing. Plasma shield. Make my way to the charge shot. I'm also going to have to remember exactly what my route is. I have run all of the constituent parts of this, or at least done practice on them. I have not actually put together a full run. So there may be some teleports to the wrong place. It's fine. Look at my splits, which as far as I know are correct. Oh. What do you know? Another gold. Pretty sure I just clipped into the wall slightly there. It's fine. Everything's cut out gold. Mm -hmm. As it should. As it should. So you'll notice we are now on a different split name from my any percent run. We are on X dash. What's X dash, you might ask? Well, I won't have an answer for you for like 10 more minutes. I need to dial up. Oh yeah. Okay, we're not going to the usual one. We are actually going over to this one. Ho ho. Now, if you know anything about uh, the teleport storage that I do here, um, the shot that I just did might seem a little bit weird. Because normally, if you shoot with teleport storage, it goes away. Yeah. 
However, if you shoot and jump on, I believe, the same frame, uh, you actually preserve your teleport storage. I am going to save here. That will be important. Um, well, it'll be important to me failing this trick over and over. Because right now, I have to carry this uh, teleport storage doing this section backwards as a way to skip the diskettes here. So you'll notice that we are in the heat, um, which means that I am taking damage over time. I am also taking damage from these spikes. And I lost it, so I have to restart. <laughs> I'm trying to get the upgrade that's at the end of this, and you're basically supposed to go through this maze with this upgrade. Huh. Um, it is supposed to be a way of showing off, and also you're supposed to have the heat resistant suit so that you're not constantly taking damage from heat. So this run involves a lot more management of teleport storage and a lot more demanding management. Because um, rather than just doing like really quick little ones, we actually have to do like, you know, carry it for long, long portions and like really difficult segments. There's a specific, there we go, like height that you have to hook shot from there to be able to get through. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> if I don't get through that, I have to land again before I can dash again because I'm in the air and you don't get your dash back. Um, so if you do that, if, if I don't make it through that, I have to land on spikes and take a little damage, all while taking heat damage, and it's just great. Also, um, when you take damage, normally you gain a little bit of invincibility. Um, taking heat damage basically sets that timer to zero, so you can immediately take damage again. Which is why sometimes you'll see me get, like, you know, just take a buttload of damage really, really quickly. Way faster than the heat ticks kind of imply that I should. All right, this is basically what I was both expecting and kind of hoping would happen. Because <laughs> the world record basically does the next three sections, uh, like, in, I believe, one shot. Like, wow. The way that it is, and that's, like, that's good enough for world record. Oh, god, yes. Touching the lava gives me my dash and double jump back. I want to be really, really careful with those, because if I try to double jump while I don't have, uh... When I don't have it, I lose the teleport storage. Okay. Nice. So now I can just teleport over here, and we're fine. Woo! You did it! So that is that section done. Yeah! This next segment is not technically one of the challenge ones, but it could also give me a lot of trouble. Because once again, I have to carry a teleport storage with me for a very long time. Also saving back up to full. Yep. We are also... Uh, it's probably fine, right? I think it is, but let me just get that on the map just in case. I don't quite recall where I'm going after this. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Um, by the way, uh, the X-Dash. Infinite dashes uh, <gasps> while you're in the air. It's ridiculously powerful, kind of... If you have the H dash along with it, it sort of supplants every other movement option. Um, because we don't get the H dash on this run yet, uh, we have, you know, the hook shot is still useful for a lot of things. But if we've got vertical movement that we got to do, like this is the only way to fly, you know. It doesn't lose teleport. Yep. We also get to hear some of my favorite music in the run that, like, never, or that's never in any percent. Yeah. You're, like, owned if you lose teleport here, right? Oh, uh, not completely, actually. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've never seen him scooch like that. Spicy lad. I have to 
kill them to get uh, this up. You're killing it with your poles there, right? Yes. Uh, plasma and actually also the V-dash, because it does do damage. card next, which... Ah! I forgot a teleporter. Are you splitting? I am once I teleport here. Did we go to pick up a teleport so you could go there? Yep. Should have gone to the lower teleporter there. Uh. Um, but I, I forgot to pick up a teleporter in the, uh, whatchamacallit split, uh, trash bot. I see, I see. Cause that's where I meant to go next. Ah. That was actually one thing that I missed. I should have gone here, like, for recovery from this. I just forgot that, like, that's that teleporter there. Um, but... This is fine. This is not going to be the biggest time loss on this split, and I'm no. not kidding. <laughs> we, got, we got stuff to do. Well, I'm happy that the X-Booster went pretty well. Um, because now I have to do something even stupider. By the way, the upgrade I just got, triple shot, just makes my shots do this. It is, in fact, required for surface percent. Ah, and I will say where. Okay. All so right. So you needed this teleporter? Yes, I needed to come down to this teleporter. Um, it's not on the map, but it would be if I loaded the map up. But yeah, uh, when I come here for trash bot, I need to go into that teleporter and activate it because we need to carry a teleporter for a little bit. And by a little bit... <laughs> oh boy. I'm going to stop in at this save point. I need the health. Yep. Don't worry about it. <laughs> That's the heat resistance suit, actually. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah. we have broken into the temple backwards. Why would you do this, you might you might ask? Well, we'll find out. One thing, I need to try to keep teleport storage here. I'm not done. And also not die, yes. The teleport storage is honestly harder because my yeah, instinct yeah. reflex uh, whenever I like, shoot, is to, like, immediately shoot again to start charging again, like, basically what I'm doing there. Okay. We have to go back and get teleport storage. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> At least you don't have to beat him again. Yes, and that is why I'm continuing rather than just letting him kill me. I could get the heat resistance suit there. Um, with the amount of health I have, I don't think it matters. Might would actually be faster it would solely. Save you time because you wouldn't have to like go at that save point. Yeah. This is surprisingly difficult to do because if I'm not like hammering the dash button, it uh. You fall. Yeah. And that just reloads. It. Yes, because that is a screen transition. Yeah, you'll notice that, like, any time that I have to do, uh, vertical movement, this is by far the better option. Any time I have to do horizontal movement, though, it is still faster to be, uh, hookshotten. So, I get the feeling that this is kind of going to be a feature of these runs for, um, quite a while. <laughs> Killing the gold statue and then coming back here for teleport storage again. Uh, this teleport storage is absolutely required for what I'm about to do. Uh, to the point where I'm essentially soft-locking the game if I don't carry it where I want to go. Because uh -huh. okay. there's a secret that I was not aware of until I saw this category um, coming up. Yeah, 
Okay, I think it makes the backtrack safer. Probably. Absolutely, yes. It means that I don't have to go save on the back end, and since it's literally right there, um, it's definitely a time save. Okay, I shouldn't need to shoot again, so that's good. But why did I go do that? Well, if you walk into this room... This is a secret. <laughs> that monitor says congrats on finding this secret. Your reward is warping you to the derelict ship um, and giving you the gold card. If you don't have teleport storage here and you don't have the horizontal dash, you're trapped. You cannot get uh... to a teleporter on the derelict ship without, like or from this part of the derelict ship without the H dash. Oh. So uh, that's nice. I also uh, have to get teleport storage there. There's a need for shots. So you're supposed to get that card from the other direction? No, you're supposed to get the card from that direction, but the thing is that that, like, uh, normally that doesn't go there. Or, like, that, that, uh, that was a secret part of the map that is, like, I think not on the map at all. What's the yellow card do? It unlocks those gold blocks, like the ones below the teleporter. Uh, okay. I'm about to teleport back there. Need to be this one, I think. I actually don't know the setup for this. Hey, I got there. All right. So these blocks right here. Okay, did you get this one later? Yeah. Yeah. It's required to beat the game normally. You get like a different player and then go through there? Yes, you actually have to do the derelict ship. Right, that's what I'm saying. That's what I was just saying. You know, when they come there a different way. Yeah, sorry, I thought uh, you come there from the same like direction, but yes, you do the derelict ship. And you don't do that right. secret at all. I didn't yeah, know yeah. that secret the, the, existed. That's what I meant, yeah. Sorry, I just completely misunderstood. My fault. I don't actually need this power storage for as long as I've had it. You really just do a little teleport map. So yeah, power uh, makes the ship a lot harder to get through, but that's fine. It doesn't affect this, uh, the water segment very much. Now where are we headed? We are heading to a corner of the map that we hadn't actually been yet. That we don't go at all in any percent. That is this one right here. So hey, did you know that there's a boss here? Yeah, we fought this guy, yep. Yep, you're normally supposed to fight him to get the propeller and, like, you know, water, uh... Lots of water movement, yeah. It's just kind of a chunk of everything you have right now, huh? A bit. Oh! But now we're gonna get to the fun stuff. Oh, that wasn't fun stuff before? Oh, this is the fun stuff. The gold card is probably harder than what we're about to do. But everyone knows this part. Also, this is why the uh, triple uh, shot is required. You cannot hit that without. Yeah, without the triple shot. This is faster if you do it right than doing the maze properly. <laughs> <laughs> or than sitting there actually is the specific thing. Yeah. But. Ah, uh, yes. It's time. Fine. This is the final boss of the run, um, so I am done as soon as I beat this. However, if you've ever seen this maze before, oh boy. We did this maze for a casual run, I think. Yeah. This is required Ooh. for every ending except for uh, the virus ending. But yeah, that's the thing about those spikes. They're one-hit kills. Yeah. Normally, when you do this maze, you'll have the X dash, but you'll also have like the horizontal dash, yeah, which gives you dash, infinite yeah. horizontal dashes. I can do this pretty well with the horizontal dash. Um, I had to completely relearn it with just the vertical dash. Like if I have the horizontal and the vertical dash, I can do it pretty decently. Um, the vertical dash is kind of required for this. There's no other good way to get health or the, the height that's required for doing this. Because you kind of need to be able to jump infinitely, and this yeah. is the only way that, like, the X, X booster dash, plus yeah. the V dash is the only way to do that. 
But you don't actually need the H dash for this. Hey. Hey, I said need. We're gonna have to prove it, huh? I guess so. <laughs> sure is. If I dash too early there, I hit the ceiling. If I dash too late, I don't you have the uh, direction to hit that bit mm -hmm. over there. Um, and at that point, I have already spent the one double jump that I get. Because, <laughs> of course, I do still have a double jump, and as long as I have, like, not used it since I last touched the ground, it is always an option, but I need it right there. It's kind of the most, like, convenient way to get across, so, like, I've kind of already spent it there. Mm -hmm. All right, pets, and how long is it going to take to do this? I don't think it'll take too much longer. Now, granted, my definition of too much longer is, like, you know, 10-ish minutes, so <laughs> get ready. This is actually quite tough to do as well, because, oh, again, gotcha. I'm not sp I don't want to, like, spend my double jump uh, to get over that. So if I hook too early or too high or too low, uh, which is very dependent on the previous hooks that I had done already, uh, I just die. There we go. Had to uh, dash there first to get the height. I don't think I need to need to, but like the muscle memory right now is kind of set up to do that. And like, I think I need to be in a really good position in order to skip that dash there. I'm a little surprised. <laughs> yeah, I deserve this. Woo! I was a little surprised that uh, that top one didn't kill me. So the run is done when I get through this maze, but um, I have not even gotten to the halfway point yet. So strap in. Once I get further, it actually does get easier after the first set. Um, I can still die very easily, but... These really are the, like, really tough bits. I'm gonna have to figure out why I didn't die there, but that's a note for later. Nope. Stupid fingers! <laughs> but anyway, I'm hoping at some point I can world record in this category. Um, we'll see. Ooh, just a bit short. It is really, really difficult because you actually have to be a bit further away from that, like, spike tower in the middle there than you think to mm -hmm. safely get under it mm -hmm. and like still have the space afterwards to uh live but Whee! that's a better angle but no! too much i went too high there no! so yes if you're too far away it will just either launch you into the bottom or top spikes above there So yeah, the thing about this run is despite being like not that much longer, you know, ideally than the main category, it involves doing some absolutely wacky shit. Like it is, this is an order of magnitude more difficult than any percent is. And there's a reason that like 19 people have run any percent and three people currently have runs, at least in the inbounds category uh, for surface percent. Okay, hardest part's over. I can still die. But these dudes, who are some of the harder enemies in the entire game, are actually a welcome respite compared to the instant death spikes. Got it. Okay, that's gonna be the game. Alright, we almost done? Yep. So, we have to turn power on to get to this teleport. I don't actually remember exactly what it is. <laughs> you don't remember what time is? I forgot to check exactly what time oh, is. No. But you walk out here, um, 
I think it's the final text box, which I think is after it fades away. Um, you do a run without remembering when time is. Who cares when time is? It's fine. <laughs> No, it doesn't. I think that's time. Because I believe it's final text box. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And that is the final text box. So you do have to sit through that entire scene. But there we go. Simple. Woo! Surface percent done. Just 12 minutes. In 34.50. I mean, that's not too bad. What, what are the previous records currently? And if you click, yeah, the title of it. There we go. That'll take you to it. You're fourth. I'm in fourth. Woo! Three people have run this game before me. Or yeah. run this category before Woo! me. Fourth by default. Fourth by default. You do love to see it. Well, 3450 is not bad for a, a first real run. I think you did that pretty good. I would say so, yeah. Third place is currently 2654. I can probably beat that if I get, like, first try on basically any of the segments. Although, it really depends just how long each of those individual ones costs me. Like, X-Dash is relatively simple in terms of what it's asking you to do. Um, the... Carrying the teleport storage and not dying is difficult, but it's a relatively short section. The gold card is bonkers hard. You have to carry a teleport section through the entire magma section backwards and then fight a boss. And like, again, having to shoot while having teleport storage makes it so much more complicated because like, it normally when I shoot, I have a very specific pattern that I can shoot in, and that's just fine. That's super ingrained in my muscle memory at this point. Um, but in this case, I just can't do that. Like it's, uh, you, I need to be able to mentally swap between I'm allowed to shoot as much as I want, and I need to pick and choose my shots very carefully, where it's going to lose me literal minutes of time. Well, I think what I'm going to do is do another run, see how that goes, and potentially finish up there. Sure, sounds good. See if uh, it goes better or worse. Mm. I'm pretty happy with that. I really was not sure just how long that this was going to take, so like... Actually, 35 minutes is pretty good. Yep. I mean, to be able to see my splits on this side no, over here. Oh, bullshit. I know, right? Terrible. But it's still displaying, just making sure. So yeah, since I have the microphone on, I am not doing my normal metronome strat for this. Um, I've gotten, I think, a bit better at it overall, so that's been really nice ever since I slightly changed the timing. But in real time, it's like two or three seconds, and again, that's not going to make the donuts at this point. Yeah. I'll start doing it for practice when I do just regular runs of this game, but, you know, no real reason to have it on right now. I could do this boss normal for the first time in forever. <laughs> Blah. Gross. Oops. Almost didn't get the two cycle there, which would have been oh. kind of funny. Okay, notes to self. Grab the health tanks when you're meant to and grab that teleporter. Yeah. <laughs> Those are, those are the improvements for me right now. Again, I am going to be any percent brain on this for like a long ass <laughs> time because the start of this run is literally any percent with minor modifications. But yeah, there is also just this sense of like, okay, what power-ups do I have? Because right now I am so used to being like 
full X dash bullshit right now that being back to not even having a double jump is just so strange to my brain. And I've done so many any percent runs that I'm like totally used to that at this point. But this is a totally new category and the end power state is quite a lot stronger. Hilariously, we don't even get the most powerful combat uh, upgrade in this run. But the triple shot is still a kind of massive upgrade in power because each of those shots is a regular shot. So if you just run up to someone, you're doing 3x damage. I'm a little shocked I got that, but I'll take it. <laughs> I'm really happy that's becoming muscle memory because that trick was super tilting. Yeah, it is absolutely like basically a completely new game. X booster is a drug, I swear. Oh yeah, triple shot's also just bigger. Okay, I will actually split this time. I think I was just talking about 100% when I when I forgot to do all the shit at the start of the run here last time. Wow, I haven't had that happen to me in forever. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. This is a 90% run. You've got like 12 minutes of leeway. <laughs> I've got a little bit of time to save. <laughs> ah, oh, I almost did it again. It's fine. It's fine. We are going in here, damn it. So is it just like necessary to pick up 25 health? Or? For the X dash specifically. Mm -hmm. If I was good enough, I could probably skip one of the two, but at least one of them is completely non-negotiable. Yeah, just need that amount of health. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure what the minimum health that you could need to hit the uh, X-Dash would be and like, you know, just teleport storage away, but that is definitely required. Okay, so I have at least managed to get the first health pack in the correct place this time. Oops. It is so easy to have button confusion in this game. I'm gonna have to wait for this fish. Oh god, people have gotten the X-Booster backwards in challenge mode. That's disgusting. <laughs> so yeah, technically I don't need need the safety health, but like, I need the safety health. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Challenge Road does have the H dash, which definitely makes it true. Yes. Easier, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it definitely makes a pretty big difference. There's a lot of stuff that if I had the H dash, I'd be able to do a lot more easily, such as the spike maze. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, next thing I have to remember, oh, that was close, uh, is the health pack in the uh, lava zone. Oops. Missing that health pack the first time has like slightly messed up my sense of this part of the run, <laughs> admittedly. It's fine though. I guess I've known whether it's possible without the H dash and no health packs. It's like you kind of have to figure out optimal <coughs> movement and how much yes. damage that Oh, yeah, be. exactly how much damage you are allowed to take for but like each level. You have no leeway, I would, None. I would reckon. Yeah. None pizza left leeway. Mm -hmm. 
the health packs kind of buy you uh, quite a bit of extra mistakes. time and damage. Yes. Yeah, yep. like flat time, and also like sometimes you just have to stand on spikes in that. In challenge mode, the H dash probably means you have to stand on spikes less. Which means yes, less that would definitely make a difference. All right, so yes, this is the other important thing we have to get here. Hop into this room. Teleport. Teleport. I did just attempt to. Uh... Just dash all the way up. Yes. Fine. Go away. A shameful climb. Mm -hmm. At least I don't need this health for anything. No. Yeah, you have so much health right now. Oh, true. It probably is faster on the way down. Yeah, I probably should move it over to there. So at least I'll have the hook shot. Mm -hmm. Still learning. Yep. I haven't watched the entirety of the uh, Surface Percent video world record in like forever. There's a lot of bits that I like half remember. But yeah, it's almost definitely faster to be able to just slide down and then go up with it. True, it's probably relatively similar once I know what I'm doing overall. It would definitely be like something you like lab out and draw. Once I'm actually good at it, yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> IL, yeah. Oh! Timings on these splits are going to be totally fucked until, like, we get to the gold key and I save the time for that. <laughs> yep. Oops. That was interesting. I'm not totally sure what happened there. Okay, teleport key, this uh, is going to basically be normal. I'm going to figure out a really good down hook shot pattern in this room someday. It's really, really difficult for reasons that basically only I understand. <laughs> because I'm the only person who does like up and down hook shots regularly and runs. It. It's jerk fly in the way. Fine. Flies is always jerks. Hop in here. Yeah, I hadn't really thought of the triple shot as being like slightly rangier. It is interesting. Think of the kind of places that you could do stuff with that, especially yeah. when playing like the rando of this game. So I really need to give a shot sometime. I think it would be incredibly fun. Fine, you go first. He's <laughs> really willing to go first. He's very excited. Mm hmm. Ooh, I bet those are faster and a bit more reliable. Sort of just thinking to myself right now, because <laughs> this is kind of any percent territory. So that's what I'm attempting to do: is hit that uh, with the with a shot there. If I can do that, uh, this room is actually like a few seconds faster. It's just really tough because you have to get some really good hook shots to be able to do it. Also, I don't think it's better on the way back, but that's fine. Uh, now I split. That is the place. Oh, yes, I have adjusted my splits to be when I leave oh. rooms so that I can practice them more effectively. Okay, okay. Yes! 
I think normally you, we used to split. I used to split right when I touched the key. Yeah, in yeah, a lot of places. Yeah, yeah. I've basically adjusted it so that now every split is me leaving a room. Okay. okay. Um, it's made making practice splits a lot easier. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. It also makes some like tricks a bit easier because. Uh, I don't have to worry about, like, slamming into an upgrade and also hitting the split button while I'm, like, skipping text. Sure. Mm -hmm. I missed! Yeah, you'll see me do the same thing with the charge shot, which was probably one of the worst places for the split, making my inputs more complicated than they needed to be. Uh, okay. Um, I now split, like, all the way after I leave the room, which is, like, 15 seconds later. Sure, sure, sure. And it just means that I don't have to, like, split while I'm in the middle of a hookshot swing and skipping text and doing a whole bunch of other shit. <laughs> and my consistency immediately got way better when I started doing that. Sometimes it's the little things. I hate it when that jellyfish uh, hits me. Little fucker. Free time loss. It happens very rarely. I used to think it actually couldn't happen, but it has happened to me a bunch of times now. These guys are always fuckers. No, no real way around that. Did not get hit by any of them though, so I'm pretty happy. That guy I actually get hit by on purpose, because if I flip myself around, it actually gives me a boost. Yeah, I used to split as soon as I hit this here, and like, splitting and also getting out of this room properly is a nightmare. <laughs> But instead, I just split right here when I'm not actually doing anything. Ooh, got that in one try. That's always nice. Have to remember to go to the correct teleporter here. Because now, we show our real shit. Now the run begins. <laughs> hate when that worm goes into there. I have a totally new place where I get to hate the worms from now. Save there. God, if I had died there, I took a hit after I turned that text off. Noted, don't do that. Also, I shouldn't be riding this elevator. Uh -huh. um, I can dash up there. Uh, <laughs> My brain is not used to having the, the V dash. You're all saying, oh God, I had one health and I I know, I'm in, I am completely panicking kind of mode there. Oh. It's fine. Do a time save. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that other elevator, I can just do this, and it's way faster. Lifts be slow. Sure does. There is going to be some absolutely fantastic hook shotting that I can do in this room. These weirdly shaped rooms are just like catnip for uh, me trying to hook shot them. Find the best hook shotting.
At least with the V dash, when I fuck up, or with the uh, X dash, when I fuck up a hook shot, it's okay. <laughs> I think dashing down there is actually worse. Now for the fun segment. Technically speaking, I can also just, you know, blast these dudes. It's these dudes who absolutely need to be shot. I do love doing that. That's very cool. I have lost my teleport storage. No. It's fine. Now we'll get to see what I have to do when I lose that. Um, it's not the worst thing in the world. I don't actually know whether the forward or the backward teleporter is better here, to be honest. It's an interesting question. You'll hear for funsies. That'll be something I will have to time out because this is something that I will absolutely end up doing. I do have to be a little careful with this teleporter here, uh, for reasons I'll explain once we're in the room. So there's water down there. Um, if you teleport storage from water, it does not actually pay, take you out of the water state. You just stay. You, so you can swim forever, uh, which is not, which is allowed in the category. Uh, I also did split there, it's fine. Um, which is allowed in the category, but also, like, mondo slow for these kinds of mega treks that we're taking. It would be an interesting question, like, if you lose it in the golds, uh, the, your teleport storage going to the golds, uh, uh, the triple shot there, like, what's better in terms of going around? Thank God I at least have the charge shot to hold on to these kinds of things, to like hold on to shots and let go of them when I want to shoot. If I had to perfectly shoot every time that I wanted to like do a jump along with it, that would be awful. Yeah. All right, good luck. Didn't actually do a charge shot there. It's fine, this section is actually mostly uh, V dash. And I lost it. This is a boss that I am going to have to practice the shit out of to be able to actually do. Alright, so we'll grab the heat resistance. Yep. Probably also save here, and I think that'll yeah. be enough health to get yes. me through back. there and back again. I don't know if there is any faster uh, teleport. My gut says no. Because if there was, we'd be going from there yeah. in the first place. Yeah. Woo! It is generally faster to run the correct way on hookshot or on uh, treadmills than to not, basically. Uh, then to like, you know, try to hook shot and do all sorts of other fancy shit with them. Yeah, that was what I was suspecting. <laughs> this walk of shame is probably gonna be pretty common in these runs. Uh... It's gonna be really tragic the first time I finally beat him with teleport storage and then like have to do all of my runs against that. Yeah. It's gonna be double tra doubly tragic oh, when I do that specifically. No. Alrighty, I think I'm gonna die, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I should have gone back and gotten health, it's fine. <laughs> It will allow you go. Gold key split, baby! <laughs> this is a mean 
teleport storage. Oh yeah. Mostly just because the consequences for failure are like really large, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is by far the most punishing place to mess up, and it is also, like, the one place where it is absolutely required that you do yeah. this. Yeah, Because as I mentioned in the first run, you are now locked in the derelict ship if you lose your teleport storage here. Whoops. Fine. Yeah, I think you definitely have to do this one. Maybe basically require yeah. like it's faster to get the heat resistant shield which is right there than like go get saves to refill your health and shit i don't actually need it. oh yeah i do need a fucking charge there i i will eventually just sort of internalize where i need charge shots and where i don't like at this point i no longer need to take any other shots so i can just fucking chill bro yeah you shoot at me that's faster. Good to know. It's so wild. I know, right? <sighs> All right, now I have to actually remember oh. this is the place that I am going. I do also have to remember that I, I have the V-dash here. Like, it's super duper minor, but... Because I'm covering horizontal distance a lot more than vertical. Should be mentioned, there is some contention as to what the fastest way to get over to the Goliath Jelly from power is. You can either walk back, uh, teleport basically here where I did, or teleport into the upper water segment. Um, and we're not totally certain which of those is the fastest. I'm doing this because it's comfort food. <laughs> This is what you know. This is what you've done. Alright, I'm gonna make my Goliath Jelly Split be the screen transition after I beat him. Sort of thinking myself about, like, how I want it to split. actually fighting this dude. Rather than chopping him? <laughs> that would be terrible. Alright, it took me a mere seven minutes last time. Do it. That was a lot better there. That was better. Good luck. And here we are, once again, my nemesis. A bit quicker this time. I tried to jump there and I'm so happy that didn't kill me. Like, holy shit. Oh, 
I knew it. I fucking knew it. I wasn't gonna say it, but there was literally one more place that could kill me there, and it was that last that jump so right there. Good. Tragic. <laughs> Storm it out. Mm. Oh, too fast. There's setups that I'm very used to going through that there, and then there's other ones where I kind of know I'm screwed. <laughs> I hope the pained grunt that I just made is that almost <laughs> killed me, made it through. I don't think it would have made it in the way Probably it, but, not. But I heard it, <laughs> and I thought it was very funny. <laughs> Probably a better way to do that. Well, hey, I'm pretty sure this will be at sub 30. Which is I think we're good there. Good. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Probably do a hook shot right off that teleport there to be slightly faster. There's a lot of tiny optimizations that I'm going to start making as I like do this run more as they become a little more natural to me. But like right now, it's the let's save several minutes. <laughs> All right, I believe the next text uh, box is going to be the uh, end. So this will be slightly gold. A little bit. Just, just barely, you know. And they were never heard from again. All right, so 2904. Very good. Very good. Saved five and a three quarters minutes. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, pretty there. good. And my sum of best is already 2819. Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that as fourth, a thing. Fourth, fourth, fourth. I'm comfortably in fourth place. Uh huh, uh huh. You're only like three minutes behind third. Mm hmm. My gold card split was only a second <laughs> gold. I know, right? But despite <laughs> everything that happened there, it was still. It was like... still faster than how I did it previously. Mm hmm. A lot of that just being because a lot of it was like fact finding, basically. Uh, missing the teleporter, the teleport room there was definitely a killer. But yeah, there's a lot of like super tiny things that I'll start to focus on once I'm comfortable doing the three like super major tricks and also even triple shot. Like I don't talk about it as one of the really hard tricks, but it is actually a very long teleporter storage. So uh, that's that. I will pro I will definitely upload this one onto uh, speedrun.com, but expect to see this time lowered very slightly over the uh, coming weeks and months. I I think this is a really fun category. I think it's a really difficult category, but like it's a re it's after having done several hundred any percent runs, it's nice to have something a little fresh in this game. Oh yeah, my in-game timer was 24 minutes 12 because of all the times I died and shit. Yeah. <laughs> At least I assume that was the deaths. Well, actually... How much did I even die? Not, oh, basically only at the end there, huh? Anyway. Well, lava room as well. Yeah, I did, yeah. God, if I had gotten that first try, the, the surface one, that would have been... Just absolutely godlike. <laughs> that would have been the best shit ever. It would have been very, very, very good. Time yeah. from deaths are supposed to be counted. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit strange. Mm, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> I, I know that that was like something that used to be a problem and that was fixed at one point, but like, yeah, it's definitely still weird. And yeah, the segmented time was basically like when you saved and quit out to the menu, it wouldn't like count times over. 
definitely a little bit strange. I mean, that's also part of the reason that I am like a minute and a half faster in any percent uh, IGT than I am in real time. My clock just seems to run like much slower than uh, everyone else's does for some reason. Anyway, I think that'll do us for today. Relatively short stream, trying this out. Um, I will probably stream more attempts on this, uh, you know, in mornings some of the time. Kind of just, you know, let people see a different side of the game. Um, and hey, I'm, I'm going to start taking leaderboard spots. <laughs> you can steal them from everyone. Yep. You already stole the annual percent. You're coming after all the exactly. other ones. Exactly. I've already got one record. Why not get another one? You all of them. Mm-hmm. All right. So that'll do me for now. Um, See you guys tomorrow. We will be back tomorrow with some more Odin Sphere. Bye. Bye.